was born June 9, 1739, near Winchester, Virginia. Her parents were Joseph and Allie Bryan. As a child, she did not receive any formal education. When she was 10, they moved to Yadkin River in North Carolina, where her grandpa had settled. She married her husband Daniel at the age of 17. The year was 1756 after his family moved to the same area. They moved to Sugar Tree Creek and lived there for 10 years. After multiple Native American attacks, they moved to Culpeper County, Virginia. Rebecca had 10 children, all of them by Daniel except one. It is believed that Jemima is the daughter of Daniel's brother, Edward. Rebecca had thought that Daniel had died in the Cherokee War. He'd been missing for either two or four years. Daniel forgave Rebecca's actions and raised Jemima as his own. She and her family moved to Kentucky in 1773, but returned to North Carolina after her eldest son died. In 1775, the family moved back to Kentucky and settled into Fort Boonesboro. Rebecca was known to be a tremendous community helper. She took in two of Daniel's orphan nephews. She adopted her orphan nieces and nephews and helped with other children in the community. As her children grew older and married and also had children, she took care of them all. During this time, her daughter Jemima was captured by Native Americans, but was also rescued and returned by Rebecca's husband. Her husband was then captured by the Shawnee for many months. Rebecca believed her husband was dead once again, so she moved the family back to North Carolina, where her family originally settled. Her husband escaped and returned to the family in North Carolina in 1779. The family then returned to Boonesboro in Kentucky. The family moved again around 1783 to Limestone what would become Maysville, Kentucky. Her and her husband opened a supply store and tavern. She ran the tavern with the few slaves they owned. The family moved yet again out of Kentucky to Missouri because Rebecca's husband was dealing with legal issues. Rebecca died at the age of 74 on March 18, 1813 and was buried in the Maysville Cemetery in Defiance, Missouri. She was moved to the Frankfurt Cemetery along with her husband, Daniel. Hope you've enjoyed learning about Rebecca Boone. She's often overshadowed by her husband, Daniel, the famous Kentucky frontiersman. But one must consider all she did for her family while he was away running in the woods. She was a pioneer who raised 10 children, multiple grandchildren, often on her own, and moved from place to place, establishing homes and settlements in Kentucky and eventually Missouri. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.